All right, I'm finally back in my studio. I couldn't get in here yesterday. Got too busy doing other things, but uh, gonna continue on sculpting her hands. Uh, my uh, friend over in Italy took pictures of his 12 year old daughter. I'll put pictures up here of her hands um, holding a blanket. He owns several of my bronzes uh, in Italy and uh, really helpful to see the young hands uh, holding a blanket. And then another friend of mine from Idaho sent me pictures of her hands. She's a little older um, and uh, I'm going to use those hands as well. Both sets of hands are going to help me get down to one set of hands. And uh, so that's what I'm going to continue doing today, working on hands. i got to work on the uh, right hand today. I'm going to emphasize the uh, knuckle of her hand a little bit more. Now, parts of this hand I'm going to do with uh, my clay, my regular clay, but some of this is going to be with uh, monster clay that, like I'm using right here right now. I'm just doing her fingernail and I'm going to do it on uh, the thumb in monster clay because it'll hold its shape better I have the uh, photographs on my cell phone so I can zoom in on the detail of uh, her hand now the younger the hand the less wrinkles in the uh, fatty area of the uh, palm. I've started uh, using regular clay over the monster clay. I'm using monster clay as a base because it holds its shape better. That's the only reason I'm using it. I uh, sculpted a little bit more on her knuckle and her thumb nail and uh, I'm going to paint this in a few minutes here to match the clay around it. Alright, all I'm doing is painting the monster clay to look like all the clay. Oh, that looks so much better than the uh, the original hand I had. All right, be right back. I gotta go clean my brush so I can start the uh, right hand. All right, again, I'm doing the hand for the right side. And uh, I'm not going to show the whole thing I did that last video I did. So I'm just taking the measurement off my uh, maquette because it is the same size as the uh, girl in the sculpture that I'm doing now. So it'll all work out just fine to scale down the uh, hand. Okay, I'll come back when I get ready to attach this hand. Okay, the problem with uh, doing this after I've done the beadwork is that the beadwork comes awful close to the edge of the blanket, which I've got to recreate because the blanket wraps around her hand. And so, I have to try to match the blanket with the end of the blanket that's wrapped going over her hand.
There we go. Man, this gets complicated when you do that. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing, but I can see it. Anyway. I think I'm gonna take that one finger like I see in the photograph and have it come down under the blanket. In fact, I think I'll lift it out like that. I'll have to fill in behind the finger, but uh, that's easy to do. I have to have the same texture on the blanket where she's holding it as I do with the rest of the blanket. I gotta fill in there. Okay, that's working pretty good. All right, now I'm going to finish up that hand. Okay, now I just combine the hand with the arm, like I did on the other one. I got a hole right there I got to fill in. I'm going to put little creases in her little finger, because you got to have them. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the uh, monster clay. I'm just smoothing out her arm a little bit. I'll uh, continue this next time. Uh, that will be, I think the next time will be the last time I work on this clay. Because it's ready for the foundry now. Good night everybody. See you next time. I'm really happy with this. This is going to make a beautiful bronze. I'm really, really, really happy with it. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.